Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports game, Ria. In this video, I'm going to go over the boxing match for Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of each fight, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in this fight, you'll have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this, of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get into the fight. Uh, we're going to be looking at Ramirez versus Taylor uh, at the Virgin Hotels Las Vegas this Saturday night. Undisputed, super lightweight title fight. On this side, I have what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Greg Gorin in the Hebrew calendar. And then on this side is what I call my game numbers. These are numbers for the fight. So location, Las Vegas, Nevada, Virgin's Hotels. This is a super weight, super lightweight class, undisputed super lightweight title. Uh, Jose Ramirez, his name, Gematria, birthday to and from, his fight record in the middle, head-to-head. -head. Um, Gematria, Ramirez versus Taylor. And then Josh Taylor at the bottom here, his uh, name, Gematria, his birthday to and from, and his fight record. So both these fighters are undefeated. Undefeated fighters, someone's going to get a blemish on their record Saturday night. Who is it going to be? Uh, it's a pretty close fight as far as um, odds go. Typically, odds for boxing matches are like a minus 1,000 or 1,500. <laughs> Um, this is one I think is around like a 200, a minus 200, or a plus 200, depending on which side you're on. So it's it's not a uh, a crazy odds fight. Fairly close for boxing standards, uh, from what I've seen in the last year, anyways. So uh, let's get into it. So if um, Jose Ramirez was going to upset Josh Taylor and uh, take the belt and keep keep his record clean it probably look like probably because of the number uh 207 and 27 and 0 so jose ramirez if he were to win this fight his name jose carlos ramirez sums to 207 this is a super lightweight fight 207 it's the uh 22nd day of May, 5 slash 22, 22 slash 5, super lightweight, 225. Jose Carlos Romero's 252, which is just an anagram of 225. So 207, 252, super lightweight, 207, 225. Today being May 22nd, 522, 225. Jose Ramirez can become a perfect 27 and 0, like 270, which is an which is just an anagram of 207, 207. And if we type in 270, which was which is what it would be, 270 or 27 and 0. 270 sums to 82. And it's 82 days till his next birthday. So 82 days till his next birthday, he could become a perfect 27 and 0. Jose Carlos Romero's 207, anagram of 270, super lightweight 207, 270 sums to 82. 82 days till his birthday. Um, for Josh Taylor, it's 225 days till his next birthday. So a decent amount of 225s going on. And um, today does have a 68 date numerology on the Gregorian. Jose Ramirez sums to 68. Virgin Hotels, 68. 158 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. 32 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. 32 date numerology on the Gregorian. 32 sums to 158. Virgin Hotels, 158, 68. Jose Ramirez, 158, 68. If Josh Taylor were to lose, he would become 17 and 1 for a fight record like 171. 171. Well, 171 sums to 252. Again, this fight being t taking place on May 22nd, 522 or 22 slash 5. He could become 171, which sums to 252 against Jose Carlos Romero's, which sums to 252. 
225 days till his next birthday. Josh Taylor. Josh the Tar Tartan Tornado Taylor sums to 337. 337 is the 68th prime number. So interesting numbers here <clears throat> for uh, Jose Ramirez to win and Josh Taylor to lose. Uh, but let's let's flip it around and let's look at the numbers for Josh Taylor to win and Jose Romero to lose. If we're going to look at Jose Romero to lose, we're going to look at the Hebrew calendar silver again. 158 date numerology, 32 date numerology, 32 on the Gregorian, 32 sums to 158. But it also has 101 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. 101 is the 26th prime number. Virgin Hotel is 158. Jose Romero is 158. Jose Romero comes in on a 26 fight win streak, which is where he could sit with the loss. He can sit on 26 wins. 101 date numerology, 158 date numerology, 101, the 26th prime. Uh, he would become 26 and 1 for a record with the loss. 200. 61. 261 sums to 223 or 223, the, the 48th prime number. Today, with 48 date numerology on the Gregorian, as well as 223 days left in the, the Gregorian year. So that would be his fall. That would be the reason for his fall. Uh, for Josh Taylor, for him to win, he comes into this match 17 and 0, like 170. Undisputed super lightweight title sums to 170 it also sums to 431 431 is just an anagram or yeah anagram of 143 and josh taylor sums to 143 today is a day leaving 314 left on the hebrew religious 314 143 431 anagrams of each other tomorrow is actually the 143rd day on the gregorian one day shy a day leaving 222 left. Ramirez versus Taylor, 222, one day shy. But uh, Josh Taylor, at the age of 30, he can get his 18th win in a row and become a perfect 18 and 0. It is the 11th day of the third month on the Hebrew religious. 113 is the 30th prime number. Does have 26 date numerology on the Hebrew religious as well. Could keep Jose Ramirez on that 26. 26. 70th day of the Hebrew religious. Uh, 180. 180 sums the 70. That's the 70th day on the Hebrew religious. A day leaving 314 left. Josh Taylor, 143. Undisputed super lightweight title. 431 anagrams of each other. 314, 143, 431. 11 day of the third month, 11, 3, or 100 and, 113, 113, the 30th prime number. Josh Taylor, currently 30 years old, could become 18 and L, like 180, which sums to 70 on the 70th day of the Hebrew. The number 18, if you just spell it out, oh, also 180 sums to 182, and that's Jose Ramirez's birthday, 812. 1, 2, 8 anagrams of each other. But the number 18 sums to 143 as well. And it can become a perfect 18 and 0. The only downside to that 18 is that Josh Taylor could become 171. And 171 is a double edged sword because 171 is the 18th triangular number. So that's the trick right there. Is it going to just be the straight direct 18 connection or is it going to be the 18th triangular connection? So not an easy fight. You can definitely make a case for both sides. You can see the numbers for both sides. Uh, Jose Ramirez, he has that 270, that 207, 207 thing going on. Uh, 82 days till his birthday. Josh Taylor, he has this 431, 143, 180 thing going on with the Hebrew at the age of 30. All the Hebrew religious calendar side. Uh, so, um, you know, hopefully this helps. Hopefully you guys, uh, make a choice or are able to make a choice and make a pick for yourselves. Definitely add more information on top of this if needed. And if you're curious to know who I'm picking, like I always say, my picks are in writing, underlined, and italicized on my Patreon. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it.